trying to do the best we can in order to finish the school year on a positive note academically. Uh, the technology part has actually worked out very, very well. In the beginning, uh, a good number of our students either had Chromebooks issued to them by us or uh, they had a home computer they could use. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, we've reached out to parents in our primary grades uh, who didn't have Chromebooks and we issued another 150. So we're pretty confident as of right now, all of our students have access to a Chromebook or a home computer uh, and that's their way of actually going through the virtual process day-to-day uh, -day in terms of instruction. I think teachers are doing a phenomenal job. It's, it's not easy. I think in the beginning, just getting a routine down each day uh, was a bit of a challenge because none of us was used to doing anything virtually like we're doing now. Um, but I think once the teachers have gotten into a routine and the students have gotten into a routine, things have been working out very well. I think the teachers, like I said, um, the challenges that many of them face is many of them have small children at home, so not only are they teaching to our kids, but they're also helping their own children uh, getting instruction from whatever school district they go to. Our administration has been um, doing a fine job in terms of helping out teachers. Our tech department, a uh, phenomenal job in terms of providing uh, the virtual um, component. And our parents have been a big help to us. I know it's not easy for parents having kids home all day, uh, something they're not used to. Uh, many of them might have uh, a lot of responsibilities as far as their jobs are concerned, but they've been helping us out and they really need to. We need to be partners. Right now we're planning two upcoming events. On June 2nd we're going to be streaming uh, our academic awards to the public uh, from our website and on June 9th we're going to be streaming our athletic awards for our senior athletes who took part in programs. We're also looking at a virtual summer school and a virtual enrichment program this summer. Uh, graduation has been uh, different messages at different times. We were planning for a virtual. The governor issued a statement that there will be live graduations allowed after July 6th with restrictions. So we're just doing a wait and see in terms of how that would impact graduation. But uh, hopefully if we're allowed live graduations, that's what we will be doing. The high school has been putting signs up on the lawns for seniors who are graduating. Our middle school is also in the process of putting signs out on the lawn to honor our students. So that was all part of our virtual program. Uh, but even though we might switch to a live, there are things that we have planned that we'll still move forward with to honor the students.